So this is a uh, an interview with a media company. The name is Ateria Media. So just another interview. Um, you gotta practice your skills, man. You really have to practice. Here we are at the coffee shop. <laughs> the owner will see you video when you're not waiting for your plan. Reading, waiting. Hello. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you. Hi. Oh, hi. I'm Carlos. I'm Glass. Good to see you finally. Um, if there's a background noise, it's just I'm in a coffee shop because I'm traveling, so I figured this is just. I I appreciate that. I work from coffee shops an awful lot, so it's okay. No worries. Um, as long as you can hear me, okay, mm -hmm. I can hear you just fine. Awesome. So, um, so I I know you you talked. Did you talk to Denavi or did you talk to Michelle? I haven't talked to anybody. Oh, just texting or, or messaging. Yeah. So okay. this is Skype group chat. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Um, I am looking forward to getting a little bit about you. Yeah. And just really briefly, like super briefly, maybe like a two minute about us as far as our company. Yeah. Uh, so I'm I'm the president. Um, my partner, the CEO, mm -hmm. um, and of Ataria Media, but also my fit brand. So we have two companies under the same umbrella. They do the same thing, but they have different target markets. Um, and so it's a, um, a digital marketing company. We work on digital solutions for clients, starting with consulting, um, but you know, some of your basics, website design, um, logo design, branding, if they don't have that yet. So for companies who are brand new, um, social media management, reputation management. Mm -hmm. We have a few that um, use um, like a, a, an, an app and we organize their information and everything for them to get them um, up and published on the yeah. app on a monthly basis. So um, kind of end to end, we meet people with wherever they are with what whatever digital need it is. So we don't necessarily I have like, oh, here's our catalog and we can't step outside it. of that. So right now we're actually working um, with a p new potential client on developing his own app. And so um, anything kind of that falls in that realm. Great. So 
that is our super quick sure. intro because I, I want to get to know you a little bit during this. So if you could tell me a little bit about your experience with either sure. project management or marketing and what got you into the field. 100%. Well, first of all, thank you for your time. And, and, and I'd like to ask you a couple of questions regarding your background. Um, uh, so why did you start building this media company in the first place? That is a good question. Um, so we actually started out, our company started three years ago. We started out, we had a fitness app that we, we were working with fitness professionals and we were helping them to, to reach outside of, of just the population that they were working with in the gym. So they could create workout programs and provide guidance and help people with their health and wellness outside of their immediate physical area, which was a barrier for them growing their business. You can only see so many personal training clients a day. You, you hit a ceiling because you run out of time and hours. And this allowed them to expand both the amount of people they could see, but also the locations of the people they could see. So they have um, people in, you know, friends and family in South Carolina, they could create programs for them there. And obviously then marketing, like trying just to, to get that spread out. What we found when we were working with these um, health and wellness professionals is that they're really good health and wellness professionals. Then they were not very educated as far as business goes. They never learned about, things like branding or business management. I always, I always show the story. Um, there was one guy who literally did not have a bank account. We're like, how are you, how are you running a business? How are you yeah. without a bank account? Like we didn't, you know, we just kind of were floored by this, but what, but what it is is when you go into educationally, when you want to get into health and wellness, they don't teach you the business side. Nobody tells you about, you don't have to take marketing classes. You don't have to learn that stuff. So what we ended up doing was consulting and coaching most of these fitness professionals on business. Um, and we just kind of saw a need and grew from there. Both my partner and I have experience in the health and wellness field, but we also both have experience in the marketing field. And so, and so we decided we were going to kind of evolve our company to provide these marketing services for health and wellness professionals, which is where my fit brand started. Um, it, it evolved, I guess it didn't just start one day, but then what would happen is after we would work with a gym owner or a personal trainer or a chiropractor, they would refer us to somebody else. Um, like they would say, Oh, my, you know, my brother has a shop down the street or my dad runs a not-for-profit agency. And we started providing consulting and digital marketing for people who are not in the health and wellness field anymore, which is how we kind of split into two separate entities um, because we were still doing business as my fit brand, um, but we were working with people who had nothing to do with health and wellness. And so we needed a new, um, a, a new brand for our own selves to work with that different population. So that's kind of a, a it, it grew very organically, but that's kind of yeah. a quick summary on that. Awesome. Thank you. On a scale from one to 10, one being dead and 10 being unstoppable, where is your energy level right now? Um, wait, one is, is really good at energy. One is being, is dead and 10 is being unstoppable. Okay. I re reversed those numbers. Um, we are growing pretty quickly right now as a company. And I think that, w that it's a very exciting phase and it's a very, um, fast paced phase. I would probably put us around like an eight or a nine Got just because I, I think mean, I, I, was, I, was, unsustainable. I was, um, asking you as a person. Me as a person. Oh, I'm a pretty high energy person generally. I feel it. So I would also just equally put me there. Yeah. So, yeah. You do fitness yeah. almost every day. Is this your passion? Um, not almost every day at this point, but it is definitely a huge passion of mine. And I would say four times a week. Got it. And what okay. do you do? Like you do lifts, lift or, or yeah. like, a lot of, a lot of strength training, um, a lot of, um, I, I guess we'll call it cross training. It's not, not CrossFit, but, um, like mixing, mixing things up for okay. sure. A little are bit you, of everything. Are you training yourself? Um, yes. Yeah. Sweet. Very good. 
yeah, I mean, I, I just love to get to know the person I'm, I'm talking to, you know, and um, thank you. Thank you for that. I guess, yeah, background of who I am and why I'm talking to you right now. First, mm -hmm. well, I started doing project management for marketing companies when I was 19 years old. The reason why I started working so young is because uh, my family, well, dad and mom, they broke up. So uh, I needed to help my mom and then uh, that ignited my, I guess, my ambition. So I started work. I started working uh, to help mom. I, my first ever gig was a project manager, project management role for Toyota back in Costa Rica, teeny tiny country in Central America. Um, it was fun for me because, well, having a company paying for Uber rides for me to go visit uh, Toyota 